within maybe 12 hours, I would be toast. So we're here in Mission Control, NASA's Mission Control at JPL, which is pretty surreal. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's like both of our first moments here in Mission Control. It's actually. very so, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's well, very and cool. let's talk about this movie for a minute, because obviously you can't learn enough to become an astronaut in the time it takes to prepare for a film. Well, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, I worked really very hard. Very impressive. Um, um, but where do you draw the line? Because as an actor, you still have to make the audience believe that you know what you're talking about. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Andy's book and, and then the screenplay that Drew Goddard wrote did a really good job of making all of the science really approachable and understandable to a layman. So I guess in that sense, it wasn't, it wasn't that hard. I just had to really understand what I was saying and, and understand kind of the philosophy behind everything the guy was doing and, and, uh, and, and then just tell the story. This will come as quite a shock to my crewmates and to NASA into the entire world, but I'm still alive. Surprise. Are there any survival skills that you would bring to the table in a similar situation? I would be, I mean, I, I, within maybe 12 hours, I would be toast. That's as far situation. as you make it, Yeah, I, I mean, hours. there's just no way. <laughs> Well, one thing I thought was really interesting today is that Ridley said that the way that this character kind of talks to his GoPro, it's kind of his confidant because he's all by himself. And I think it's kind of like his Wilson in a way. Yeah, I mean, I think the difference is that um, is, is he in a weird way, I think, would expect that someday somebody might find this log. So in a way, his behavior is observed. Like he's, a, he's, he's behaving with the expectation that somebody might be watching him. Whereas, you know, if you're on a desert island with just a volleyball, it's pretty much you and the volleyball. Right, because he, so, he is a scientist He is well. a scientist and, and he's in this situation that's very unique and so he is trying to kind of uh, catalog his experiences in a way that might someday be helpful to somebody yeah. else. And what was it like to actually shoot this? Because most of your scenes are all by yourself. Your character talks to himself a lot. And I know you shot in Hungary. So I imagine there was a little bit of isolation being away from your family and in a foreign country that maybe lent itself to the performance. Yeah, I mean, even if you're doing a scene by yourself, you still have, you know, 75 people on right. the crew standing right there. <laughs> so. Uh, so, so no, I can't say I ever felt like I was particularly lonely. Yeah. Um, though, you know, we went, you know, we went from Hungary, we shot in the, on, on the biggest sound stage in the world, actually, which was incredible, the work that everybody did kind of making this habitat and, 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 and it was all green screen stuff to make it look like Mars. And then we went to Jordan and shot in the desert wow. in Wadi Rum, which was spectacular and, and so vast and standing out in the middle of that desert was really did definitely give you a feeling of uh, solitude. It was yeah. really beautiful.